Hello, my Cancerians. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Um, this is going to be your love reading for August 15th through the 31st, okay? So um, for my returning subscribers, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to my video if you already haven't. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you know when you, you know my videos are out. Um, also, keep um, keep yourself in the loop with what's going on with giveaways, with um, just any potential like opportunities for free readings in my community post. And also, check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews, all that good stuff. Um, I do post daily um, card pulls sometimes when I have time, you know, all that inspirational stuff. So take a peek if you already haven't, okay? So, Cancer, your manifestation power at the end of the month is a 10 out of 10, okay? I was meditating on your energies and you guys, I don't know if you guys have been doing spell work or you're just working with the law of attraction, but everything that you've been putting out um, is coming into fruition, okay? And I'm not talking about just love. I know this is a love reading, but I was feeling um, in general terms. I feel like you guys have been really manifesting a lot of things in your life. I do see, I want to say, there is a strong bond, there is a strong connection to an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and I feel that it's almost addictive, you guys, so I want you to be careful about this energy um, at the end of the month, because you or this person is kind of in a situation where I feel like it can get very toxic really easy because there's so much passion between you both. I feel it's almost like a need to stay connected to this, even though you know that it's not in your best favor. This connection feels very karmic. This connection feels extremely like faded, okay? So I feel that in this case, There is a need to stay like you want to keep this person or they want to keep you, but it's not healthy right now, okay? I'm not saying it can't change because we have free will. You never know, right? But what I'm seeing is that it's, it's not healthy for you right now because this person is either already married or this person has their own inner healing to do. And when you force something, and I'm not saying that you guys are forcing, but when you're energetically kind of bound to an outcome, right? When you really, 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 really want it. You're not letting the universe flow it to you, okay? So ease up on this air sign let them do what they have to do or vice versa this person is coming in and they're like obsessed and they're clinging to you okay and it's causing a lot of issues and it's going to cause a lot of blockages okay so definitely i feel that this is someone either outside of you and they're doing this to you or you're doing this to them okay there is a lot of love i see a lot of potential for growth but remember, what is yours is yours. No one can take it from you, okay? So Cancer, August 15th through the 31st. Love reading, please. I feel that some of you guys are going to be vacationing with an Aries at the end of the month. It could be a Leo. It could be a Sag. But I'm seeing like a cruise. Um... I feel like this is someone you just met or you just started dating, okay? I do see that you guys are going to spend some time together. Cancer, 15th through 31st. Or this is someone that you've been with for a while. But I feel like it's almost like they're taking you away from a lot of your responsibilities or they're taking you away from a lot of things that you've been stressed out about, okay? 
Um, again, if you have been waiting on an air sign, this is definitely a karmic, right? Soulmate energy. So it's different. Karmics are not soulmates, but I feel like this is a karmic situation, which means you're, you need to learn something before you guys come back together is what I already intuitively felt. Um, you're going to get a nice distraction from this fire sign, okay? I feel like you have other people in your horizon uh, and surrounding you. It's like they're taking you on vacation or they're, they're, um, or they're keeping you, your mind off of this situation. And I feel like if you want to reconcile with this person, with this ex, with this air sign, you need to let them grow. You need to let them go through what they're going through. Because, yes, this person may have your heart, but they are not in a good place right now. And also, I'm seeing um, financial issues with this air sign. They they are really struggling with money because they're doing something like gambling. They're taking unnecessary risks when it comes to their money. They're being irresponsible with their money. And you know what? You don't want to be a part of that because then you're going to end up carrying... You're going to end up carrying the weight of this relationship, okay? So you definitely want to let them grow. I do see fire sign energy and a lot of fun at the end of the month, okay? I'm seeing a lot of you focus on the build, okay? So you are really worried about... Um, you're more concerned with your coins right now. And I see a lot of investment in um, building your your nesting egg. Like you're, uh, you're more worried about your nest. Like you're really building a, a savings is what I'm hearing. Like you're focusing on things that you can kind of find a feeling of permanence in. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys have just, some of you have been in a situation with the Gemini is what I'm hearing. Could be Scorpio, Pisces, but strong uh, Gemini energy as well. A lot of air signs, you guys. For some of you, this Gemini, it's like you're trying to save money so you guys can move cancer, so you guys can live together, or you guys can start a life of your own, okay? I do see a lot of like concern with the future. So, with okay Aquarius if you if you're a cancer dealing with an Aquarius you need to let them this person grow please let this person grow because they're gonna take from your your financial abundance this person is messy they need to grow up if you are a cancer dealing with a Gemini you guys are really thinking about long-term commitments long-term plans there's talking talks about savings um, you're worried about get, getting your money up okay some of my cancers, you're stuck between a fire sign and an earth sign is what I'm seeing or a possible. You're stuck between a Taurus cancer and you're trying to make a decision between a Taurus and a water sign for some of my cancers, okay? At the end of the month, you know, you're really going to have to make a decision because I'm feeling that, you know, both parties are not going to wait. So, and I say that with a lot of love. I'm just saying that intuitively, you know, I don't, I feel a lot of restless energy surrounding this. Um, or if someone's keeping you waiting, you're not going to wait at the end of the month. You're going to be like, are we doing this or not? Like, you're not playing, okay? Um... Yeah, some of you guys are closing. If you are on a twin flame journey or you are on a divine counterpart journey, you're closing the, the chapter on this situation for now. I see that you're going to come back to it. You will come back to it. But I feel that, um, especially if you're dealing with you guys, if you are torn between, this is what I'm getting. Some of my cancers, I feel like you already have a partner that's an earth sign, but you're tempted by a fire sign. This fire sign could be a cusp of water, like Sagittarius. Um, they could be Sag, uh, Scorpio is what I'm getting, like right on the cusp, okay? A lot of my cancers, you could be dealing with the Taurus. 
um, already, but you're being tempted by a fire sign, water sign cusp, and I feel like you're trying to decide on who to kind of give your time to. You are very in love with this fire sign. There's a lot of love here with, with water in their chart, and you're almost like obsessing over them. There's a lot of obsession here. Obsession is what I'm hearing. Um, also, it's like you're trying to make the best decision for yourself right now and what's going to be best for your future. But this fire sign, I'm hearing high and dry. This person will leave you high and dry, okay? And that is because they are not, just like the air sign, they're not ready to commit. This person is um, like a gypsy, like they love to travel, they love to kind of have fun, they're not really looking for a commitment, so Cancer, general energies in love, August 15th, 31st. If you choose this fire sign, you guys, I'm telling you right now, you know there's going to be an issue about loyalty because this person is not ready to give you what you're looking for. They want something that's open, okay? The the Hierophant is re in reverse. This is someone who does not want to take anything serious right now. They're kind of throwing you into the mix as if you are other people. Like, they see you as an option is what I'm seeing, okay? Cancer. Yeah. Okay. Some of you guys are not willing to look at your options as anything serious because you're pretending like you want something that is outside of the norm or outside of the box. But the reality is that you do want a strong commitment but you're blocking yourself because I'm hearing that you never want to feel what you felt in the past again. A lot of you guys were hurt in the past by either a water sign or a fire sign. And there was a deep wound here, like deep, deep, deep. And you guys never want to make that mistake again. So because of that, sun, moon, or rising, because of that, you're trying to play it off like you don't want anything serious, like you're cool with keeping it casual, like you're cool with having a few people on the side, but the reality is, is that you're not. <laughs> you guys really want a home. You guys want to set roots, but you're, what you're manifesting, again, pay attention to your manifestation power. You guys have a very high level of manifestation right now so if you are thinking negative thoughts you're going to manifest this okay if you're thinking positive thoughts you're going to manifest it into your reality so what opportunities does cancer have in love please i'm hearing the golden outcome yeah you guys are going to get what you want this month i feel it but it's a matter of your state of emotion as well Cancer, opportunities in love. Oh, damn. Opportunities in love. Cancer. Damn. Okay. So I feel like there is a variety of energy here with my cancers, your opportunities, okay? Yeah, a lot of you guys are, are, going back to what I was saying, a lot of you guys are playing it off. Either you're dealing with someone, you have your hopes up high for someone, especially a fire sign, who, y look, listen, <laughs> they are treating the situation as an option, okay? So I'm not saying to give up. I'm not... I'm not, you know, I'm not responsible for your decision making, but Cancer, I will say, keep your options open because this person, they look at you as an option, okay? They're, it's not that they're evil, they're an asshole, no. This person is just not in a place to commit to you emotionally. They can't even commit to themselves. They can't even follow their own inner 
inner guidance because they don't even have their own inner compass. I feel like they're healing. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I'm going back to the fire sign. And if you're dealing with an air sign, they're both a little bit messy and they're both a little confused but more so with this air sign air sign intuitively my vision I feel like they were already married they had a really bad situation and now with you they're cautious fire sign I feel like this person has ran away from home they don't really have a foundation you are the first person who has provided them with the foundation they have been rebels all their life they don't know any other way and also if you have been giving to them consistently to the point where you're exhausting your own emotional abundance stop it okay they the fire sign needs a challenge and if you're giving too much of yourself it's not a challenge that's only for some of you outcome for cancer and love 15th to 31st <clears throat> A lot of you guys are really not feeling expressive, okay? So it's like you're looking for a partner who's going to know how you feel. They want you to know how you feel through your body language, like you're expecting. I feel like you are expecting or you, someone you're dealing with is expecting to guess, like, like to just intuitively pick up on what you're feeling, okay? So the outcome for cancer... Or you may be secretly trying to communicate with someone, okay? Listen, the bottom of the deck is you guys. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You guys are feeling very protective over yourself at the end of the month. I don't see a lot of giving. I don't see a lot of wanting to give. Because you're trying to balance your emotions again okay you guys have been through something very challenging and I feel like you're trying to protect yourself okay so at the beginning of the month here we have let me get these beautiful cards out the way at the beginning of the month we have make the effort okay so again there is an imbalanced sense of making the effort so someone here wants the situation more than you I feel like that is the air sign. You guys are dealing the first week, the 15th through, you know, the 31st. You're dealing with someone who is not giving to you the way you're giving to them. So there is an imbalance here, okay? You do have someone, you're thinking about manifesting the soulmate, okay? You want to get back with this person. You want to reconnect. You want to make things right. Keeping an open mind. Some of you guys are so fixed on this air and fire that you're losing yourself, okay? Because you have other people who are ready to date you. But I get it because I have a few placements in cancer. And when I want someone, I'm very emotional, especially my Mercury sign, my self-expression. Um, I cling, I cling, I cling. My rising is a Pisces. So I'm very, you know, I'm fire, but I'm very watery too. So when I love someone, I get very obsessive easily, easily. Fifth, sixth house in Cancer. My arrows is in Cancer. So I know. I get it. Like, there is no telling me nothing. Like, when I want someone, I want someone. And I'm going to fucking manifest. Like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to push. I'm going to push the buttons. I'm going to do something, right? And I feel like this is your energy at the end of the month. Like, you're trying to get a response from the person that you're in love with. But I feel that they... You got the air sign. They're trying to figure it out. Please don't get messy. You know, get, don't get involved in the mess. They got money issues. You don't want to get involved. I'm hearing that their wife or their husband took their house or their money. On the flip side, this fire sign is very gypsy-like. They're on the go. They're always traveling. Like, this person is very self-oriented. So where does that leave you, Cancer? Really think about where you're investing your money. And if you're going to do candle magic or you're going to go get work done on somebody because you really want to reel them in, make sure this is what you want before you do it. Because don't look at just the outcome of wanting. Trust me, I've been there. Because you're going to attract it because your manifestation power is so strong. You'll have it. But again, you know, when it comes to magic and when it comes to manipulating energies, yes, you might keep the person that you want. But it will never be perfect. Because this person, if they don't want to be with you, 
or if it's not the right time, if it's not the creator's divine timing, you're going to have, you know, a little bit of friction and it's going to be like them reacting from a place of destruction versus love, okay? I'm all for doing like magic work in terms of like getting them to clear their mind to see things clearly but in terms like in terms of forcing something just be careful that you're not forcing the wrong person and then you end up regretting it that's for some of you okay here we go let's jump in so again the hierophant in reverse we have the three of cups this is someone either who is struggling like this is someone who's in the closet about their sexuality i know that i just dropped the bomb on that so either your ex or someone you're dealing with, okay, they're hiding their sexuality or this is again, the person that you're dealing with at the end of the month, they do not want a commitment. You're, you know, it's like they're looking at this situation as an option. They don't want to commit. They don't even have their morals and their values straight to even give you an offer of commitment. I feel like you guys are, are really trying to uh, manifest what it is that you want with this in reverse I feel like you're not feeling really grounded at the end of the month okay you may you may be trying to open yourself up to other opportunities while you wait for someone here but there is a fear of starting new okay now the opportunities are pretty intense you guys the opportunities is about ace of cups in reverse we have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Five of Cups. This is a lot of drama. You guys, crowning the Ace of Wands, there is a lot of fear of surrounding opening your heart for some of you. If you do not open your heart, you are going to feel very miserable at the end of the month. You have to give love a chance if you want to. If not, you cannot sit here and be like, oh my God, no one loves me. I got, you know, I feel left out and cold. Oh, sad. No, you're making a decision. This is your energy. Your opportunity is an open heart. You guys are blocking your heart from the past. A lot of resentment. There's a lot of resentment from the past. A lot of you guys feel left out in the cold by the person that you love. And the only focus here is on a sexual on a sexual um, spectrum. Like, the only thing you're allowing yourself to feel is sexuality. Like, the sexual connection. You guys are fearful. You're fearful because you're holding on to the past. The creator, the source, they can't give you abundance and all this beautiful blessings that they're trying to offer you, the, you know, God is trying to offer you all these um, amazing gifts. But if your hands are full with resentment, then you can't catch it, right? At the end of the month, you have a choice to make between an old partner and a new partner, okay? Or a situation that is really going to feel um, very stressful for you. Because this is uh, maybe your twin flame, okay? Your twin flame, I feel right now, cancer is a hot mess. They are trying to, I feel like your twin flame is this fire sign, to be honest with you. Let them get through what they need to get through, Cancer, because they're going through chaos right now. So um, focus on yourself, okay? I feel like there is an issue between a, a spiritual connection, okay? Like something is falling apart and it's crumbling and you can't control it. It's not meant for you to control because it will work in your favor if you could just lean back and relax, okay? Thank you so much, you guys, and I'll see you in September. Bye.